Jr. for your Senators here tonight. We'll start at one guard. Another guard, number 20, 6 5, senior Lane Hoffler. We'll get to start once again as well. Also at another guard, number three, Jackson Cameron, the junior guard, who's uh, been lighting it up pretty much at the, from the beginning of the season. Number 12, Ethan Rosenbaum will start at one forward. He's a junior for Coach Sullivan and a senior, Mason Cox, number one. We'll also get to start for West Washington here this evening as we get this game underway here in just a few minutes as the starters have been introduced. So we'll get things rolling here from West Washington as we start this consolation game here this evening. Like I said, a little different lineup for Salem. Some, some younger players stepping up. Jackson Bruff getting the start here tonight. Uh, they say he's really been coming along real well. Thought yeah, he played he, pretty decent last night. He did. He had the, the uh, issue of guarding Nash last night, so that was... <laughs> yeah, tip controlled there by the Senators as it was tipped towards Salem's bench, but saved by Kent Chase. So we'll get things going here. It looks like Salem's going to play a little 1-2-2 two, two trap uh, type zone here against the Senators to start. They'll get it off to Kenton. Now baseline to Cox. Out high to Hoffler over to Ian Rosenbaum. He'll throw it back out to Lane. Lane looked at a deep three. Then a lob pass inside to Cox. And Mason able to score the basket as he gets the first bucket of the night. Two to nothing Senators. That's a heck of a start for the Senators. Absolutely. Back the other way with it as Cheatwood gets it over here to Stevenson. He'll pull it and shoot the three. No good. Off the mark. Rebound bounces off a couple players and comes away to Kenton Chase. Off to Cameron. Back to Rosenbaum. Now back to Kenton. Now out to Lane. Three ball in the air. No good. Mason Cox going up high for the rebound. He's going to get fouled by Stevenson as Justin will pick up his first the team's first here in the first quarter of play. And Stevenson isn't one of those players that Salem can afford to have on the bench. No, no. He is. Uh, he does a little bit of everything for him, and probably the best leaper out here. He can really jump up oh, in yeah. the air. Lane Hoffler with it now in the inbounds. They'll get it off to Cameron. Back out high it comes to Rosenbaum, far side to Lane. Hoffler pulls it down, looks, now goes back outside to Kenton Chase. Chase with it, off to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. Finds Lane cutting the lane, and he throws it up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Bruff. Back the other way for the Lions as they'll hand it off to Cheatwood. Jaden will cross the timeline, gets it off to Stevenson. Far side it goes to Collins. Back over here now to Stevenson. He'll cut the lane, gets it to Bruff. Finds Tucker in the middle. He'll pull it down, kicks it back out to Cheatwood. Over to Collins. Now inside to Tucker again. He'll spin, kick it out to Stevenson. He drives. That's going to be number two on him. Just and like just like we said, yeah. that he can't Salem can't afford to have him on the bench. He would have been okay if he wouldn't have put his arm out. Yeah. And you're going to get that call every time. Not a lot of contact there by Justin, but he sticked his he stuck his arm out there, and Kenton Chase done a nice job getting in front of it. Picks up his second personal. He'll go to the bench, and Kenton will bring it back up for the Senators as he'll cross the timeline. He gets it off far side to Cameron. Jackson will pull it down. Now looks in the corner to Hoffler. Gets it to Lane. Back out to Cameron. Back over to Lane. Inside it goes to Rosenbaum. He'll spin. Nice move. Goes up over Tucker and got it to go. So Rosenbaum scores his first bucket of the night. And it's 4 to nothing here as we get underway in the first quarter. Far side, Cheatwood over to Collins. Now baseline to Tucker. Caleb pulls it down, finds Cheatwood, open for the three. Can't get it to go. Battle for the board, tipped out of bounds off of Salem. So they'll say it goes back to West Washington. You, you said uh, Stevenson may be the best jumper in the building. I'm going to think Mason Cox. We put, well, we, we put those yeah. two together. That's a that's quite the jump off right there. I tell you, in that first game last night against Borden, I seen Justin. He was his hand was his elbow was at the rim oh, a couple yeah. times. He he really was getting up. Kenton Chase in the corner to Cameron. Now crosses out to Lane. Hoffler will drive the lane, throws it up off the glass. Got a bad bounce. No good. Tipped off of Salem as Hayden Bowman into the game there for the two fouls on Stevenson. Just unable to grab it there. Yes. Hayden's another kid that can really get up in the air. I've watched him over the years. Kenton looks. Now he'll inbound out to Cameron. Oh, inside pass tipped away. Tried to get it to Hoffler. And it's stolen away by Bruff, turnover by the Senators again. And it's uh, four to nothing here in the first quarter. Kick the ball, it'll go back to Salem here in front of the West Washington bench. 
those of you at home who are watching, there, Santa is in the building. <laughs> I, I Santa's have, part of our broadcast I, crew. I, I have spotted <laughs> Santa. His beard looks a little low over there. Well, but anyway. a little. <laughs> so Stevenson now inside to Bowman to Tucker. Now they'll go to Bruff on the baseline. Nice move by Jackson. Can't get it to go but a foul as they're going to get the first foul of the night against the Senators here. Looks like Mason Cox is guilty. And a nice move there by Jackson Bruff as uh, he'll go to the free throw line now. He'll have a couple free throws here as he was in the act of shooting. First one's up and it's out. It bounces off the side of the rim, no good. Salem still looking for their first point here, 4.54 to go here in the first quarter. Second free throw coming here by Jackson. He puts it up and that one rims out. That one looked a lot better, but just didn't go down. Rebound to Rosenbaum. He'll get it up to Hoffler. Lane cuts the lane. Now kicks it to Chase down the corner. Cameron, that's his shot. Ooh, in and out. No good. And a rebound by Collins for the Lions. He'll give it off to Cheatwood. And Jaden will bring it up the court. Off to Holden on the far side. Back to Cheatwood. Now to Tucker. Caleb looks at a three. Now kicks it in the corner. Or baseline to Bruff. Back out to Cheatwood. Back to Tucker. Tucker looking over to Cheatwood, far side Collins, back to Cheatwood, now to Tucker, inside pass tipped away, and another turnover by the Lions, up and running, they get it to Cameron, off to Rosenbaum, now out to Kenton Chase, now to Lane, Hoffler with it, far side to Kenton, he'll pull it down, now back over to Lane, he looked at a three, now to Cameron, far side to Kenton. Kenton will pull it down, go to Rosenbaum, back here on the near wing to Jackson Cameron, he'll kick it over to Kenton Chase. Kenton will reset the offense here. Coach Sullivan calling something out here from the sideline. Four to nothing for the Senators here. 349 to go in the first quarter. This will be a great game if Lane can get going. Yes, we need him to get going. Another three up in the corner. And Jackson Cameron, he nails that one. And the Senators out to a seven to nothing lead here as the Lions still looking for their first point. Cheatwood off to Collins, far side. He goes in the corner to Bowman. He'll shoot the three, and if he gets hot, he's a streaky shooter too. Caleb Tucker with a hustle rebound. Gets it out to Collins. He can't get it. And the rebound by Cameron now. He'll throw it back out to Kenton. Kenton drives. Throws up the lob to Cox. He'll pull it down. Goes up and scores. So Mason with a quick four. That's a 9-0 run for the yeah. Senators. Getting out early here. Getting up and down the floor. Yeah, great job in transition as Jackson got that rebound. Long rebound. Got it out to Kenton. They throw it down to Cox, and he gets a bucket. That, that Mason does a lot of the things behind the scenes that you don't see. But then, you know, on that type of play, he's able to leak out and right. with his athletic ability, go up and get a, a lob, come back down, and then lay it in for the, the two-point bucket. That's the kind of offense that the Senators need to run and, and look really good doing it. You know what? You might be right, too. He was way <laughs> up there. I believe his elbow was above the rim when he caught that yeah, ball. I think the pass, I think they intended to lob it to him and him tip it in, but he kind of mistimed his jump, and when he went up a little late, <laughs> but yeah, he, but he pulled it down, went back up with it. He's freaky athletic mm -hmm. when – if he doesn't have the ball in his hand, right. he can jump way higher than when he has the ball. Because I've seen him here before the game. You know, he has trouble gripping the ball and dunking yes. it. But that yes. his hand was well above the rim. Yeah, I, I tease him every once in a while. I said, if your hands were a little bit bigger, you might be able to dunk it. I, I, get, <laughs> I give him a hard time. All right. So coming out of the timeout here by uh, Coach Malloy from the uh, Salem Lions, he calls one here with 3.08 to go in this first quarter. Lions back with it now, still looking for their first bucket. Cheatwood off the Bowman, back to Cheatwood, top of the circle, inside to Tucker, he'll spin, goes in strong. Looks like it got a block from behind, but they're going to get to the Senators for a foul. That's going to go against Ian Rosenbaum, his first, team second. And that'll put Caleb Tucker at the line, shooting a couple free throws here. That's the only opportunities uh, they've had to – two opportunities before and there goes another one in they haven't been able to hit a shot right so they get their first bucket uh first point anyway from the uh, free throw stride he'll step back up there for the second one caleb a good free throw shooter second one's up and it's good as well i don't know what he's shooting on the year but i know he uh he led them i think last year in their free throw percentage so they'll pull it down. Now a little trap here. Maybe they watched the uh, Pekin game. Yeah, I'm going to say they, they saw some of this from Pekin. <laughs> they bring so. uh, Cheatwood out high. Now they go down to Mc 
McCoy who checked in back out to Kenton Chase. Kenton goes baseline. Titan Williams also into the game now. Kenton on the drive, looks, goes baseline to Titan. He gets cut off, throws it out to Cameron. Now down to McCoy on the baseline. He shoots it a little long, rebound Bowman. And Hayden out and running here for the Lions. He'll pull it down, kicks it out to Cheatwood, over to Collins. Back out to Jaden Cheatwood, over to Bowman. He'll drive now, gets cut off, throws it back out to Cheatwood. Jaden with it, off to Collins on the far side, back to Cheatwood, now to Bowman. He'll drive in down towards the baseline, baseline, gets cut off, back out to Cheatwood, now to Bowman. He'll pull the trigger on a deep three, and he got it to go. Senators out there in a 2-3 zone, yeah. and they've got Kenton on the bottom of that. So that's 9-5, yeah. so I'm kind of cutting into it here with two free throws and a three here by Bowman. Back to Kenton now. He'll drive, goes baseline, throws up a runner, can't get it to go. Tipped out of there by Titan. Good hustle play, but he can't save it from going out of bounds. This is a, a lineup for the Senators. Even though Titan's out there with some height, they play three smaller guards out there with McCoy on the floor. Um, you know, and Jackson Cameron. So, it, Coach Sullivan sees that, of course, and then subs in right. some height. Well, we've almost <laughs> played every, but, you know, it's good rotation for us. Plus, it rests some guys as Lane comes back in along with Mason Cox. Bowman back the other way. He almost uh, falls down. Well, he does fall down, but keeps his dribble, gets it out to Collins, now to Cheatwood. Jaden with it out high on the floor. Looks, goes far side to Bowman, back to Cheatwood, over to Collins here. Back to Cheatwood, back to Collins, back to Cheatwood, inside to Tucker. He looks, kicks it out. Cheatwood will shoot the three off the mark, rebound in there by Grayson McCoy. Stolen from him by Bowman, out to Bruff, and a foul going to be called against Kenton Chase, I believe. Yeah, Kenton got him on the arm on the way up. Yeah, Bruff tried to go up for it. So Kenton's first foul, team's third. And the Lions cutting into it slowly here. A 9-0 run to start the game by the Senators, but the last five points have been by the Lions and Bruff back up at the free throw line again. Struggled the first time, and he misses the front end of this two-shot uh, foul uh, free throw opportunity. I'm sure Coach Sullivan's putting this in his memory bank for the end of the game if, if we yeah, come down no to it. Foul. Another one short off the front of the rim, so he misses both again, and they'll get it up quickly. It goes to McCoy. He'll pull up baseline, shoots it, can't get it to go. Ball tipped around. Bruff will pull it down for the Lions as Jackson doing a good job on the boards for them. They'll get it off to Cheatwood. They'll go far side to Collins, back out to Cheatwood. Now over here to Bowman. He'll drive baseline, gets cut off, throws it back out, and throws it out of bounds. It'll go back to the Senators. So another turnover there by the Lions. That's gotten, their fourth here in the first uh, quarter of play. Gotten really sloppy on yeah, both, both sides. Ends. You know, the Senators can't seem to get offense running with this. Uh, this you know, trap, trap really gives them fits out high. We're going to have to figure out a way to beat this because everybody's going to run it if they see it's working against us. Hoffler with it, far side to Kenton. There again, I, I think the key to this is to get Kenton to drive the basket. Yeah. He'll go baseline to Cox, back out the lane. He'll go far side to Kenton. Now back over to lane. He looks at a three, steps in, finds Titan in the lane. Nice runner, and he got it. So Titan gets his first bucket of the night. And it's back to a uh, uh, six-point lead here by the lines. <laughs> I couldn't get it out of my mouth. Collins with it. Goes baseline to Bruff. Inside pass just a little high for Tucker. And Hoffler will pull it down. So that's the end of the first quarter here that's from a, Salem. That's a good first or, quarter for the Senators West here at West Washington. Yeah. You know, able to get 11 points with a six-point lead. We're going to step aside, take a quick commercial break, and be back in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. 
Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, back here live at West Washington. Uh, first quarter comes to an end here in the consolation game. Senators on top, 11 to five, so a six point lead here. Game of runs, Senators started the game with a 9-0 run and then Salem answered with five quick points. Then the Senators able to get that, uh, that last bucket to go there. So they're uh, up six here as we start the second quarter. Salem will have it to start, Cheatwood with it. Now trapped by the Senators, they get it out to Bowman. He'll drive the lane, almost lost it, and throws it out of bounds. So another turnover on them. He gave Santa a present over there. Yeah, he did. Threw it right to Santa. Although Santa bobbled it. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, his hands aren't the greatest in the world. That's why he's a lineman, right? Quick pass down low to Titan. Reverse layup, and he got it. Nice play there as Kenton found Williams in the lane, and he scores again his second buck of the night, 13-5 to five now, an eight-point advantage. Far side to Cheatwood. Now back out Stevenson back in there with those two fouls. They'll get it off to Collins. He's a shooter as well. That one off to Mark Tucker with a nice rebound off to Bowman. He can't score it, but he gets fouled. I like this zone that they're running with Titan way out top and then Kenton running the baseline. Right. So then they've got Lane and Mason Cox on the wings. You know, that reminds me a lot of the Michael Sizemore group that came right. through where he played on the bottom and Sanford was out on top. I, yeah, I, I thought like he was really good, you know, and that, it, you get your longer guys out there where, you know, the, it's hard yeah. to get around oh, those yeah. arms. The first free throw up by uh, Bowman there, no good. So he'll get another one, and he misses both. Battle for the ball, Tucker, a hustle play there, but he tips it out and it comes away to Cox. Mason will pull it down, drive, goes in strong, can't get it, but Lane there for the rebound bucket. And Lane gets his first bucket of the night, and it's 15 to five, a 10 point lead, biggest of the night here. Cheatwood to bring it up for the Lions. He'll get it off to Collins. Collins goes baseline to Tucker. Tucker wheels, finds Cheatwood. He'll shoot it from the corner, off the mark. Rebound hustled by Bowman. He'll throw it back out to Cheatwood. Good rebound there. We gotta get on the glass. We're not doing a very good job yeah. of rebounding. It's hard to rebound out of a zone. Yes, it is. Cheatwood with it. He'll drive. Shoots up a 14-footer. In and out. No good. Rebound pulled down finally by Mason Cox. Off to Kenton Chase. Back the other way. Kenton gets it to Lane. He shoots a three ball and got it. Now he's getting hot. So Lane knocks it down, and it's 18-5. to five. So another quick run here as the Senators have got seven points here in this quarter already, and Salem hasn't scored in yeah, this quarter. Yeah, like we said, it's a game of runs, and the Senators are making the runs, and Salem just, they're they are getting shots. They're, yes. they're open. It's just they're not falling. They're getting shots. They're getting rebounds. They, you know, I'll have to give them credit as far as the hustle. They've done a good job. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like Tucker and Jackson Bruff have done a really good job getting offensive rebounds but they haven't been able to make us pay by getting shots to fall. Right. And so that's kind of the difference in the game right now, out to a 13-point advantage here for the uh, uh, Senators here against the Lions. Uh, Link's Clothing and Shoes, our fine sponsor there in Salem. Oh, yeah. We got Ricky Link's right here next yes, to us. We can steal his drink. Well, I was going to while ago. He had his m and M sitting up there. I tried to grab him, <laughs> and he, he grabbed him real quick. I don't think he trusts me, but... Oh, yeah. Links is giving away a, a seat, those uh, those seats for everybody. Yeah, the chairs over there, they've got one for each school, I believe, that they've they've got set up there for, um, I believe you buy tickets. I think it's... Uh, yeah, you got to buy a chance for it uh, is what it is. So. But even if you don't win, you can go into Links and buy one. Oh, yeah, they got them in there. You can go in and buy one. I need to get in there and get me a new one. Well, I funny story jay told me she's like i need a stadium chair i was like i know right where to go there get one go. <laughs> justin stevenson out to cheatwood for the deep three and there again salem just struggling shooting it a battle for the rebound and kenton chase pulls it down quickly he'll drive it up finds cox baseline out to hoffler lane's getting hot there's another there one it is three ball down again and so hoffler has got all his points here he's got eight here in this quarter as he drives it up to a 21 to 5 lead Cheatwood far side to Collins, back to Cheatwood. Now back over here to Collins. Collins out top, Cheatwood with it. He looks, gets it off to Stevenson. Stevenson back to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. He'll pull it down. Now back out to Cheatwood here. 
Nice job by the Senators in this defense. It's give uh, Lions fits. They're going to have to be able to shoot. Bowman will pull the trigger on a deep three again. It bounces twice and doesn't go down. But a rebound as Tucker fouls uh, Hoffler on the board. So nice job there by Lane boxing out. Yeah, Lane got up high to get that. And then as he's on the way down, he gets fouled. So First foul on Tucker, team's third here. So the uh, Senators will take the ball back out of bounds as they'll inbound to Kenton Chase. He'll bring it up and across the timeline for West Washington. He'll set the offense now. Still, uh, line still in that 1 2 2 kind of trap uh, out high with Cheatwood on the top for them defensively. They'll get it off to Titan Williams. Will Kenton back out to Kenton, far side to Lane. Back to Kenton here. He'll hit Titan with it here on the near wing. Titan cross court pass over to Lane. Offer with it. Cuts inside to Rosenbaum. Back out to Kenton. Looking far side to Lane. He'll pull it down. A volleyball line three. No good. Battle for the board tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to West Washington. I was going to say, Mason got up there to get that one. That's probably not a shot that we want to take a whole lot of with Lane out towards the S on Ron Smith court. I mean, it's okay to shoot, shoot deep threes, but probably not the look that Coach Sullivan wants out of this um, set versus the zone. No, definitely not. Inbounds comes to Lane. He'll pull another trigger more, on a more, three. More like that. They're He's looking got for that three shot. threes here in this <laughs> quarter. He, he kind of looks like uh, Nash did last night yeah. in this quarter as he shot them from way deep, 24 to 5 here. Stevenson with it, far side to Ingram, who checked into the game for the Lions. He'll get it out high to Bowman. Now inside to Tucker, free throw line, back to Bowman. Bowman with it, off to Ingram. Nick hands it off to Justin Stevenson. He'll pull it back out, goes to Cheatwood here on the near wing. Jaden will wheel around, looks, gets it off to Nick Ingram, far side. Ingram back out high to Bowman. Bowman comes around, now drives the lane, goes in strong against the uh, Lane, but got his own rebound, and he gets fouled on the floor. As a good hustle there by Bowman going for the offensive glass. Well, and the Lions have had to come back with Stevenson. They don't have a choice. They're, they're down. They've got to get their, their, their uh, main horse back on, the, back on the floor. They called that on Ian Rosenbaum, his second foul, the team's fifth. As uh, we'll check uh, Grayson McCoy back into the game. Stevenson on the inbounds, gets it to Tucker. Now back to Cheatwood, out high to Ingram. Ingram looks, gets it off far side to Bowman. Back out high to Ingram, now back over to Cheatwood. Jaden will wheel around, looks. Can't find anybody, gets it off to Ingram now. Nick drives baseline, nothing there. Kicks it out to Tucker. Tucker back out high to Stevenson. Now to Bowman. Boy, Salem's been stuck on this five and another turnover for them. They're up to seven here in the first half. They get it off to McCoy, far side to Cameron. He spins, pulls up baseline shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bowman, and he'll get it off to Cheatwood. Jaden to bring it up, gets it across the timeline. Gets it off to Ingram here on the near wing, back to Cheatwood, far side to Bowman, back out to Cheatwood, almost stolen there by McCoy. Now to Tucker, free throw line, out to Bowman. Back out high to Cheatwood. Out to Ingram, he'll pull the trigger on a deep three, and he got it. Nice shot there by Nick as he knocks it down. Lions do a good job of moving it around the top of that 2-3 zone. 24 to eight now. Hoffler with it, gets it off to Cameron. Over here to Kenton Chase. Kenton back out to Cameron, far side to Lane. He'll drive, pull up, baseline shot, got it. He's hot right now, yeah. we need to get him the ball. He's kind of been uh, getting all his shots. He's got uh, already got uh, 9, 11, 13 points this quarter. They kick it out to Bowman. He'll shoot a deep one. No good. Rebound. No Tucker. They they have. Salem has done a good job on the offensive glass. Yeah. They've got a lot of offensive rebounds. Cheatwood tipped away from him. Goes to Ingram. Now in the corner to Stevenson. Back out to Ingram. Now to Cheatwood. Over here on the near wing to Bowman. Back to Cheatwood. He'll go back to Ingram again. Nick looking, goes inside to Tucker. He'll spin on uh, Hoffler, goes in strong, got the bucket. Looked like it could have been an offensive foul, but no call <laughs> as Tucker gets the bucket to go. Those so, of you at home got to see yeah. both Coach Sullivan and Coach Rosenbaum. <laughs> Not happy with that call. 26 to 10. Kenton Chase off to Hoffler. Lane wheels around. 
Gets it back over to Kenton. Kenton here on the near wing, goes in the corner. Lane will shoot another three. Off the mark that time, air ball. Rebound pulled down by Bowman. Or, excuse me, Stevenson. He'll drive, kicks it out to Ingram. Ingram goes baseline, gets cut off, flips it back out to Cheatwood. He'll pull it down, kicks it back out high to Bowman. Far side to Ingram. Back to Bowman, now to Cheatwood here on the near wing. Far side, cross court to over to Ingram. Back to Bowman. Hayden looking, now gets it off to Cheatwood. Back to Hayden, far side to Ingram. He'll go baseline to Stevenson. Back out to Ingram, now to back out to Bowman. Here to Cheatwood. Jaden with it. Back to Bowman. Far side to Ingram. Minute to go here in the first half. Out to Ch uh, Ingram. Now over here it comes to Cheatwood again. Baseline Stevenson. Cheatwood back out to Ingram. Inside tipped away. Almost stolen. And it is another turnover by the Lions. And they get it down quickly to Williams. He drives. Can't get it to go. Got his own board back up and in. Nice hustle there by Titan. He scores his sixth point of the night. The uh, broadcaster for the ladies' basketball side uh, padding his stats there with his own rebound. 28-10 <laughs> to 10 now, out to an 18-point advantage. Salem looks maybe to hold here for the last shot of this first half of play. Cheatwood will just dribble out high with under 20 seconds to go now. Clock down to 15. Now they'll go for it. They get it to Ingram. Baseline, it goes to Stevenson. He'll spin, gets it in the corner to Cheatwood, out to Ingram. He'll have to pull the trigger. Deep three, no good. Rebound Cameron. Jackson brings it down. He's got time, pulls up, shoots a three. Can't get it at the buzzer. And that's the end of the first half here as the Senators have pushed it out to an 18-point lead, 28-10 to 10 here over the Lions in this first half. We're going to take a quick break, tally things up from the first half, and we'll be back here on your home for Senator Sports. West Washington live stream and WWSR. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening. in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Knighting. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. And Commissioner, holiday time. Lots of tournaments, lots of uh, one-day extravaganzas, irrespective of the sports. And so, you know, it's going to be one of those kinds of times where people are just having as much fun as they can. And you're out there having fun. And one of the things we remind people is when you go to a game, sportsmanship is a real thing, and we'd like to see it because these are officials who aren't full-time. Uh, they're not uh, doing this for a living. They're doing this to make an extra buck and to help kids have some fun. So I want to underscore how important that is for everybody involved. I think that's exactly right, Coach. And, you know, I, often for me, perspective comes to mind when I think about officials and when you look about the parents, the student athletes, the coaches, uh, the fans. Uh, and it's about keeping perspective of what, what we're trying to do uh, in an environment the student athletes get to grow up in. And, you know, officials don't make a primary living as a, a, a uh, and as a matter of fact, they really only make gas money in a lot of places, you know, less than $100 to officiate a varsity basketball contest. But they choose to do that because the game really meant something to them at some point in their lives. And, 
you know, they want to give back. And, you know, a lot of our ex-athletes, former players, former coaches even out of officiating course now, and, and they just want to do it so kids can have an opportunity to play just like they were able to do uh, many years ago in many cases. So, you know, perspective is so important when we look at games you know, that, that kids play. Well, I think we, we take it way too personally. I think we forget this simple concept that everybody – in between those black lines, everybody along the side, scores, bench, benches, all that other stuff, everyone on the court, everyone on the benches, everyone at the scores table will make a mistake. Everyone will make one. Uh, hopefully not very many, but they'll make one. Coaches will make mistakes. Kids will make mistakes. Timer will hit the wrong button. Score will get the wrong, uh, the wrong player. Officials... Yes, they make mistakes. They, they really, really do. And since we're trying to be teaching kids lessons, we don't want the lesson to be that when things don't go your way, you go ballistic and act like an idiot. Not to, you know, maybe cut to the chase there. That's one thing we're not trying to teach. We're trying to teach how to understand and accept problems as they come and adjust and do the best you can. Well said, Coach. You know, it's just so important to keep that in, in mind. And and it is about adjusting. It's about learning the life lessons. You know, one of the things I often try to say is, you know, when you think about sport, we have a game that we all love, whether it's whatever it is that we offer, but it's it was officiated by human beings, created by human beings, played by human beings, coached by human beings, and watched mm-hmm, by human mm-hmm. beings. And, 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 and I often say only one perfect person walk this earth and my mom's not sure. appreciate the night so you know, <laughs> we need to make sure that we keep it all in perspective along the way and understand that human beings are the imperfect much as we try not to be but they are and then mistakes are made well the issue nowadays is you uh, at the association find it very very difficult to find uh, the right number of officials you're compromised in terms of football and basketball tournaments because you're you're literally running out of officials to officiate these kinds of events that, that's exactly right, Coach. And, and you know, and so far we're we're working hard to get more officials in. And you can go to our website at ihsa.org and sign up to become official. And we love people when they do that. But you know, regionally, uh, we have some real shortages in the state. You know, if you go to the north uh, west corner of the state of Indiana, we have a, a real struggle to get football officials. In other places, it may be track and field or soccer. And, you know, it's still, uh, you know, there are still areas where we have a lot of officials. Uh, We still have a lot of basketball officials in the state, but we can always use one more. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA. It's Paul Knighting. This is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA related. Commissioner, holidays here. Have a happy holiday. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, best of luck to everybody involved with the IHSAA. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, welcome back here at the half as the Senators out to a 28-10 to 10 lead over the Salem Lions here in the consolation game of this holiday tournament. Running down the first half stats, you know, I was really concerned about that offensive rebounding of Salem, but it, it wasn't as lopsided as I thought it was. Uh, uh, Salem with seven offensive rebounds, uh, the Senators with five. Both teams tied with 15 total. Uh, in the uh, first half of play. To run down the first half scoring individually for the Senators, uh, Mason Cox was had two field goals for four points. Uh, Jackson Cameron had a three-pointer for three. Titan Williams with three field goals for six points. Uh, Rosenbaum had um, a, a two-point field goal for two. 
Lane Hoffler with, uh, he was uh, five out of 10 from the uh, field. He uh, had three three-pointers, two two-point field goals to lead all scores with 13 in the game to give the Senators their 28. For Salem, uh, Nick Ingram with a three for three points. Hayden Bowman uh, with a uh, two-point field goal and a, uh, or excuse me, with a uh, three-pointer uh, for three points. And then uh, Caleb Tucker uh, had a field goal. He was uh, two of two from the line for four points uh, to give the Lions their 10 points. So pretty good job defensively by the Senators here to limit Salem's opportunities and kept them to, uh, you know, only 10 points in that first half. Um, and like I said, I really thought the rebounding would be uh, a lot different than what it was, but both teams with 15 rebounds here in that first half. So both teams returning now, Salem back out. <coughs> Excuse me, here comes uh, West Washington back to the floor. So in other uh, Senator action today, the, the wrestling team was down at the Jeff Classic where uh, Daniel Miner got fourth at the 106 pound weight class. Mason Jones ended up getting third at the 120 pound weight class. And Wyatt Johnson also got third at the 152 pound weight class. So great job for the Senator wrestlers. Um, they were in action today. One uh, kind of condolence that we need to send out Mike Zaire, yes. um, an official that has, has officiated here at West Washington all over Southern Indiana, um, has done state championships in uh, basketball and volleyball um, had a medical emergency last night and and has um, passed 48 years of officiating um, so condolences go out to the Mike Zare family yeah I remember Mike he, he done a lot of games in this area you know and I I've seen a lot of them over the years and I can remember Mike uh, one of the uh, nicest uh, officials you would ever meet I don't think I ever seen the guy get uh, get tightened up over anything he he was just a good official he knew the rules he called it like he seen it and uh like you said prayers out to his family um you know in that loss of mike he'll be greatly missed uh, as you know officials are hard to get a hold of yeah. and hard to hire and you know mike was was one of the best around so we get ready to start the third quarter here west washington will get the ball they'll inbound at half court They'll come back out with their starters, Hoffler, Chase, Cox, Cameron, and Rosenbaum. Kenton will bring it across the timeline. He'll get it off far side to lane. Hoffler will pull it down, gets it out to Rosenbaum. Now back to Cameron. Now back to Kenton Chase. He'll drive baseline, looks, dishes, goes to Cameron on the baseline, and he knocks it down. That's the, the look that Cameron needs, whether it's in the corner or a step in from there. Yep. If he can knock those down, the Senators are tough to beat. 20 point lead now, 30 to 10. Collins with it, far side, Cheatwood back to Collins. Now to Cheatwood, top of the circle off to Stevenson. Stevenson back over to Cheatwood. He'll kick it back over to Stevenson. They're looking, kicks it back out to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. He'll kick it back out to Jaden, far side. Collins inside pass to Tucker. He'll kick it out. Cheatwood's three up, and he got it to go. Nice shot there by Cheatwood to knock that one in. Yeah, he knocks it down 13 to 30 now as the Senators still with a 17-point advantage. Kenton off to Jackson Cameron looking inside now to Cox. Mason off the Hoffler far side over to Kenton. Kenton looking now. He'll come around, looks inside, nothing there. He dishes to Cameron off the lane. Lane gets hounded there, and Bruff's going to pick up the foul on him. Jackson will get his first. Team's first here in the second half. So the Senators will inbound here once again on the far side away from us as they'll kick it in to Kenton Chase from Lane Hoffler. Kenton will set the offense once again, gets it across the timeline. He'll dribble, looks inside, finds Lane on the baseline. He'll spin, tries to kick it to Kenton, ball on the floor. And there's going to be a foul on it. They're going to call They're Kenton call Chase. Kenton on that one. Yeah. That'll be Kenton's second, team's first. Not sure there. It looked like they were just battling for the ball. I really felt like Lane got fouled on the baseline. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> there were Fisher fouls kind of all over the place yeah. on that one. So. Far side to Collins for Salem. Back to Cheatwood. He'll kick it out to Stevenson now. 
Back out to Jaden, far side to Collins. He looks, kicks it back out to Cheatwood. Now back over to Collins. He'll get the trigger, and he hits one. So Mason, line's starting to uh, heat up a little bit. Mason Cox just slow on the close out there. Yeah, you got to get out on their shooters. They they like to shoot the three ball. And if you get Collins, Bowman, uh, Cheatwood, uh, all those guys can shoot it if they get hot. Kenton drives the lane now, gets cut off, kicks it back out to Hoffler. Lane will spin, goes inside, pulls up, eight-footer, got it. Tough shot. That is a tough shot. Hand but, in your face and elevate. Yeah, he knocks it down, 32-16. Cheatwood back to Stevenson, off to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. Now to Cheatwood, back to Collins. Cheatwood over to Stevenson. He looks inside to Tucker. He'll go down low to Bruff. Nice play there. Bruff just gets behind that back line. Bruff picks up his first bucket of the night. And it's 32 to 18 here. Kenton with it, off to Cameron, looking inside, goes down low and a reach over the top by Bruff. Bruff isn't gonna be able to defend Lane low. No. On the, on the post, he can't, he can't do it. Just his, his body isn't big enough, so. He, yeah, he just picked up his second foul. As Lane will go to the bench as uh, they'll bring Titan Williams in, give Lane a little bit of a break here. Which may be a little bit more of a, yeah. a defensive problem down low. Turnover by the Senators as they steal it away. Stevenson comes away with it off to Collins. He'll kick it to Tucker, free throw line out to Cheatwood. He tries to drive, gets cut off, now goes back out high to Stevenson. Stevenson off to Collins, back to Stevenson, far side to Cheatwood to Stevenson. Back to Cheatwood, he looks, back out to Stevenson now. Off to Collins. Stevenson now take it, drives, and they're going to get a foul call. I think they're going to get Kitten Chase on this one. Oh, that'll be his third. Yep. Kenton just Chase. picked up his third, third foul. Third. Not much of a foul there. I was yeah. gonna... So the Lions will inbound. Bruff will take it on the inbounds from Cheatwood out to Tucker. Caleb with it in the corner. It goes to Collins. He'll pull it down, gets it back to Tucker. Now back to Cheatwood. Back to Collins. Cheatwood, far side to Stevenson. Back out to Cheatwood. Stevenson now with it. Cheatwood again, top of the circle, inside. They find Bruff down low again, and he gets fouled. They're trying that back door as they get it to Tucker at the free throw line, and then just back door to Bruff, and uh, another foul in the Senators. And that's where the Senators in that zone, they get, they're, they're able, the Lions are able to get somebody lost down low because of the reaction up the lane, um, you know, to stop the drive. Yeah, if you're going to foul somebody, Jackson's been up there four times, hadn't been able to knock one down, and he misses the fifth one. He was up there uh, four times in that first half and couldn't get one to go. Misses the front end of this two-shot uh, foul here as he'll get another one. Brett Bruff's second free throw coming now. It's up, and he got that one to go in. 32-19 as Salem's cut into it here a little bit, down to a 13-point lead. Senators had it as high as 20, so Salem kind of uh, digging back in here in this third quarter, and that was kind of our bugaboo last night. You know, we kind of got non-complacent, didn't move real well in that third quarter. Titan gets it off to Cameron. Cameron out high as the Lions have extended their defense, much like Eastern did last night. Kenton, ah, steal there by the Senators. They turn it over as Salem uh, comes away with it. They get it off to Cheatwood, over to Stevenson. Back to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. That's exactly what the Senators oh, yeah. don't want on nope. the offensive side. Out to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. He'll pull it down, back out to Cheatwood. He looks, now gets it to Stevenson. Yeah, they, they, they're trying to feed Caleb, and they get it inside to Tucker there, and now foul on Cox. So we're starting to get in a little foul trouble. Yeah, we're, we're picking up fouls everywhere. We've got Mason with two, Williams with two, Rosenbaum with two. Kent Chase has three. And now we go back to this yep. small lineup. Here comes McCoy, but Hoffler back in as well. And still come in for Jackson Cameron. So we go a little taller here with Rosenbaum and Hoffler and Williams all in the game for the Senators. 
Cheatwood to inbound, throws it in high for Stevenson, and he tips it in. He got lost in the middle, and Lane, yep. Lane was passing somebody off. Down to 11-point lead, 32-21. Kenton crosses the timeline now. Pulls it down, goes far side to Hoffler. Lane out to Rosenbaum. Ian with it, off to Kenton. Chase will go on the drive now, finds Rosenbaum low. That's what Kenton can do. Uh, yeah, get in the lane and dish, dish it off. Yeah, you're going to be able to get that every time. 34 to 21. Far side, Stevenson with it. He pulls it down, gets it out to Collins. Out to Cheatwood, far side to Stevenson, inside to Tucker, back out. Cheatwood will shoot the three, and he got another one to go. They've really heated up here in this quarter. Second one for Cheatwood. And it's 34-24, down to a 10-point advantage. Kenton Chase with it. He goes far side to Rosenbaum. Now out to McCoy. Now off to Hoffler. Now to Kenton. Kenton drives inside, takes it, kicks to McCoy. He'll get it out to Rosenbaum. Three ball up off the mark. Rebound Hoffler back up, and he got it to go. Basket, basket by number four. Lane, Lane does gets, a good job of getting up, getting that rebound, yeah, putting did. the ball back up on the glass as soon as he comes down. So You know, the Salem's done a pretty good job. They've outscored us here 14-8 to eight in this quarter to cut into this lead a little bit. Got it down to 12. Um, and that's that's kind of the same thing that happened last night with Eastern. You know, we, we had a lead. Yep. They cut into it in the third. Then they cut into it more in the fourth. And eventually we were playing from behind. So hopefully the Senators, um, you know, in a quick turnaround, didn't have a, a practice or anything, but I'm sure they had a walkthrough of some sort today where they talked about, hey, here's what we need to do in this situation. Yeah. Well, we're, we're just uh, – we kind of got lost defensively, didn't get out on their shooters. Cheatwoods made us pay a couple times with a couple deep balls, and then Collins hit one. Uh, and then they found Bruff on the back door and uh, Stevenson on that inbound. So, you know, Salem's found some things that will work. Um, you know, the, the Senators' defense just got to pick it up here a little bit and uh, find these shooters. 36-24, Salem will inbound with 158 to go here in this uh, third quarter. Cheatwood with it, gets it off to Stevenson far side. More of a motion offense now out of Salem. They'll get it off to Cheatwood. He'll look, goes inside. Stevenson can't get it to go, but he's fouled. Another foul, and we're starting to pick up some fouls yeah, here. Yeah, I think in they're going to get Ian on that one. Yep. That's Ian's third. Team's fifth. But that'll put Stevenson at the line as he was uh, going to the basket. He'll have a couple free throws here. First one's up, and he got it to go. Gets his third point of the night. Mason Cox set to check back in for Ian. Yep, he'll come back in for Rosenbaum. And Stevenson will get another free throw. It's up and it rims out. Hoffler with the rebound. He'll get it off to Kent Chase. 36-25, an 11-point advantage here for the Senators with uh, about a minute 30 to go here in this uh, third quarter. Hoffler with it on the far wing, back to Kenton. Kenton over to McCoy. McCoy far back out to Chase. Kenton looks, goes inside to Titan Williams. He'll spin, gets cut off, now spins. Air ball, but Cox with the rebound. Gets it out to Hoffler, deep three, no good. Mason Cox back up and in. Nice <laughs> play there by Mason. Flying through the air. Yeah, Mason done a nice job getting up to get that rebound in a put-back basket, 38-25. Cheatwood with it, far side, minute to go here in this third quarter, off to Stevenson. Out high comes to Bruff. He looks, now out to Cheatwood. Cheatwood to Tucker. Tucker off to Bruff. Jackson with it, looking, gets it out, almost stolen, tipped away by Cox, but Stevenson able to regain control. He'll pull it down, looks, now kicks it to Tucker. Caleb with it, hands it back to Stevenson, out high to Cheatwood. Lions will reset here with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cheatwood just content to hold it out there. Let him hold it. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean we're up. We got a 13-point gonna... lead. Not doing them any good to 
hold it, but I know they want to get a good shot here going into the fourth quarter. They'll get it to Bruff. 10 seconds. They get it back to Cheatwood. He'll wheel around free throw line. Gets cut off. Looks back door. Ball comes loose. Stevenson picks it up. Throws up a runner. Can't get it to go. Tucker back up. No good at the buzzer. So that'll be the end of the third quarter here as we'll go into the fourth quarter with a 13-point lead. 38-25. We'll take a quick break. Come back here on your home for Senator Sports. West Washington live stream and WWSR. Link's Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. All right, back here live at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court as we head into quarter number four of this consolation game. Senators with a 13-point lead here, 38-25, as uh, we'll start the fourth quarter with um, Titan Williams, Kenton Chase, Jackson Cameron, Lane Hofler, and Mason Cox. Salem with uh, Bowman, Cheatwood, Stevenson, Bruff, and Tucker. Cheatwood on the attack back door to Stevenson. He scores it and won as he gets fouled. So yeah, not Titan, the way you Titan want to comes start. in late on that one. The ball had already gone in. Yeah, that was a design play out of the uh, quarter break, and that'll put Stevenson at the line as he scores the bucket. He'll have a chance to cut this down to a 10-point lead on the old-fashioned three-point play, and he does. So he knocks it down, 38-28. Kenton Chase to bring it up for the Senators. Cheatwood extends his defense up to the half court line off the Hoffler, back out to Kenton. Kenton off to Cox. Mason back to Kenton. Kenton drives now to Hoffler. He'll shoot a deep three ball off the mark. Battle for the board. Tucker comes out there with it. Gets it off to Stevenson. Stevenson up quickly off to Cheatwood. Lions trying to cut into this 10 point lead. Tucker with it far side. Goes baseline to Bowman. He'll spin, throws it back to Tucker. Tucker out to Bruff. Bruff spins, kicks it back out to Cheatwood. Cheatwood we, wheel around. We can't settle on the offensive no. end like what we just did. No, we sure did. Stevenson down low goes to Bowman. Hayden gets cut off, kicks it out to Bruff. And a timeout by Coach Malloy here. 6.58 to go in this fourth quarter. We'll stay with you here. Uh, through the game here so far, the Senators led by Lane Hofler. He has 17 points. Mason Cox and Titan Williams both with six. Um, Cameron with five and uh, Rosenbaum with uh, four. As um, the, the Lions led so far in the game by Jaden Cheatwood with six and a bunch of other people with uh, three and four respectively. So... Uh, 38-28. Stevenson uh, getting most of the work here in the second half for Salem. He's kind of been their go-to guy. And the Senators, you know, they've they've stuck to this 2-3 zone a lot in this second half, and they, they look good in it. It's just a matter of all the personnel that they rotate through at, at times, you know, where do they fit. Right. Cheatwood with it, off to Collins. He looks back out high to Cheatwood, far side Stevenson, inside to Bowman. Back to Stevenson in the corner, deep three, and he got it. I tell you, Justin's starting to get hot. Yep. 38-31, down to a seven-point lead here. And we're just real complacent on offense. We gotta take it and attack. They get it inside to Titan. He gets fouled on the floor, so. Which is not a bad move, you know. No because he was going to the bucket, so good good foul there. Hayden Bowman's first foul, only the third team foul on Salem here in the second half. Kenton chased the inbound, looking, kicks it out high to Cameron, down the corner to Titan. 
Titan back out high to lane. Hofler with it, far side to Kenton. He'll wheel around, gets it to Cox, back out to Kenton. Kenton looking in the corner now to Cameron. He'll step back, shoot to deep three, no good. Hopefully the battle for the board, but Tucker comes out there with it. And the Lions trying to dig in a little deeper now, 38-31. Got it down to a seven-point deficit as they try to get to back in this thing here. Bowman with it in the lane. They leave him alone. He shoots it, no good. Tucker battles for the board, and it'll go back to Salem. Three we're, Senators there, just yep. no one able to grab a hold of that ball. We're just kind of getting out hustled a little bit here. Got to, got to, got to be able to hold your foot down. And uh, you know, we had, we had them down 20. Yeah. Much like last night, you know, we had Eastern down. Cheat with a wheel around, shoots a 15 footer off the mark, and that one goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the Senators here. He uh, split the Lions cheerleaders over there. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> it looked like a bowling ball, and they all got out of the way because they knew he was coming. Kenton chase with it. Now drives, kicks it off to Hoffler. I want to see Kenton take it on yeah. inside. Don't stop there. Just keep going. Lane in the corner goes to Cameron. Three ball, and we needed that shot. Yeah. Our first bucket here in the fourth quarter as Cameron knocks one down, and it's 41 to 31, back to a 10-point lead. Cheatwood with it. Off to Collins, back to Cheatwood, far side to Stevenson. Back out to Cheatwood, over to Collins. Cheatwood, Stevenson. Baseline goes to Bowman. Out high to Stevenson. Now to back out the top of the circle to Cheatwood. Over to Stevenson. He'll drive, dishes to Bowman. He'll pull it down, shoot to three. And nobody goes after it. Finally, Cameron chases it down. And Mason no hands gets off. hit in the mouth. Yeah, that. he did. Kenton. Back door now finds Rosenbaum down low. Out to Cameron, another three opportunity off the mark. Rebound by Cheatwood. He'll pull it down, bring it up quickly. Nobody picks him up. Now he gets it off to Collins, back to Cheatwood. Far side to Stevenson. Back to Cheatwood, now out to Collins. Cheatwood with it now, top of the circle, 424 to go. 10-point lead by the Senators here. Tucker with it. He'll spin, gets it off. Cheatwood's three in the corner short. Rebound Hoffler. He'll get it off to Chase. Timeout called by Coach Sullivan. Coach Sullivan going to get a timeout. I think he's he got, sees that we're... I, yeah, Mason Mason Cox yeah. got hit in the mouth, and he's grabbing at his mouth the whole time. So... Well, and I think, too, that he sees offensively we've been kind of stagnant. You know, we, we've we only scored uh, that one three-pointer here in the quarter. And, uh, you know, they've, they've done a good job of getting shots up. We're not getting a lot of shots up because we're just not getting good opportunities. And we're kind of I, – I just feel like we're real lackadaisical on offense. Yeah, we're, we're – we got to attack. You know, instead we of get, sitting back. We get stuck in that zone, and we, we pass, we pass, we pass, where some of those we can attack a little bit and make that zone chase. If you can make a zone chase, that gets you open. That's how that's yes. how, that's how how you break it down. And, you know, Kenton out at the top, he's looking to pass, which is great, but if he could take two or three dribbles and make that zone adjust, then somebody's going to be open on that pass. Well, you know, when you back, back out and extend that defense, it gives everybody a chance to reset, yeah. you know, whereas if you attack it, you know, and Kenton, definitely the fastest player on the floor, he, you know, if he'll, if he'll attack that and, and drive in there, it's going to create some opportunities for everybody else. Right. And we've just not done a very good job of that, actually, in the last two ball games, Felt like we'd done it pretty well up at, at uh, Trinity the other night, last Saturday night, but we haven't done it here this weekend. Rosenbaum will inbound. He'll get it into Chase. Ten-point lead here with four minutes to go in the contest. He gets it a off the top. Huge Cox. mismatch on yeah. Lane over there in the corner. Yeah, Bowman athletic, but there goes Kenton. He drives the lane. See that happens, and you create opportunities when he does that. Yep. Rosenbaum scores again, 43-31. Cheatwood off to Stevenson. He'll drive, now kicks it back out to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. Collins in the corner to Bowman, back out to Collins, now to Cheatwood, off to Stevenson. Cheatwood threw it away, Cox with the steal. 
He'll drive. Goes in strong. Got it tipped away from him. Got it back, however. Spins. Goes in strong. Got it and one. And one. Nice bucket by Mason, Mason Cox there yes. around the corner. Kind of loses it and then gathers again down the lane and is able to pivot around and get that one up. Stevenson picks up his third foul, and uh, Cox with that opportunity now go to the line to complete the three-point play if he can get this one down. And the free throw rims out, rebound Tucker. They'll kick it off, Stevenson. Now back over here to Tucker. Off to Stevenson, out to Cheatwood. Three minutes to go here, 43-31. Out to Cheatwood, back over here to Collins. He'll shoot a deep three off the mark. Tipped up though, Stevenson pulls it down and he gets fouled as Cameron. Cameron just gets tied yeah, up he before to, he ever yeah, got there. He got a hold of him before he ever jumped. Jackson's first foul, team seven. Stevenson back at the line for the Lions. He's been up there three times. He's two of three on the night. Pretty good free throw shooter as yeah. well. As He's got, it's a nice looking stroke there, so. Yeah, him and Tucker, you don't want to foul. They're both good free throw shooters. Collins will come to the bench as Bruff checks back in. Justin hits them both. Thirty-three, forty-five here. Baseline pass down to Cameron. Now out to Hoffler. Lane with it. Gets it off to Kent. Chase with it. Drives. Now dishes. Rosenbaum strong to the hole. Can't get it to go. Tipped out of there. Stevenson comes out with it. Gets it off to Cheatwood. He'll spin in the lane. Throws it up. Can't get it. Hoffler with the rebound. And now off to Cameron. Jackson with it. Gets it. And yeah. Tipped out of bounds to this is where the Lions yeah. are trying to speed the Senators up, which is exactly what happened you know, last night with Eastern. Yeah, 45-33 here, 12-point lead. Senators inbound, they'll get it into Kent. Chase with it, brings it across the timeline. Now drives, that's what he's got to do. He beats everybody when he does that, and so he tips it out of bounds that time, but but that's he, fine. We're yeah, going to reset and we can Rosenbaum do it again. bomb on the wing, and Ian was driving in there. Ian the inbound gets it into Kent. He'll back it out. Reset here. Two minutes to go. Goes on the attack and a foul by Cheatwood. As the line's starting to run out of time here a little bit. Cheatwood's first foul. Only the 14 foul, so we're not shooting free throws. Yeah. Right? That, they got fouls to give, and that's what Coach Malloy was telling them. Well, and Coach Sullivan's saying they're trying to foul us. Yes, so they're going to foul you. They're going to foul. Let's not get anybody hurt here. No. That's why I said, uh, you know, Kenton needs to drive because they'll probably foul him, and he might get a chance to uh, to hit the bucket as well. 2.02 to go. Kenton with it. Chase on the dribble. Out high, cheat with on him. Go back it out now. Wheels around, now he goes on the attack and he gets fouled again on the floor. And they're gonna keep the ball in Kenton's hands here. They're gonna make them foul him and for him to go to the free throw line, so. Yep, 16 foul now. Cheatwood picks up his second. Rosenbaum to inbound. He'll throw it in the backcourt again. It'll come into Kenton Chase. Cheatwood will pick him up. Gets it out to Cameron, back to Kenton. Get him trapped here. Now they go to Cameron. He goes low to Rosenbaum, over to Hoffler, and he gets hammered by Stevenson. So Justin will pick up his fourth. I think they were tied up yeah. there before they ever, before Lane caught it, their legs were, were tied together. That'll be free throws for Lane. And 17 foul on Salem. So Lane will step to the free throw line. First free throws up and it's good. His first attempt tonight, he'll get another one. Titan Williams set to check in for Lane if he knocks this one down. Second one's up and it's good as well. 47. Number four. 
32-33. 14 point lead with 130 to go here. And I'm sure they're gonna try to get a three up. They get yeah. it over to Collins. Collins back in the game now, in the corner to Bowman, out to Cheatwood, out to Collins. He'll find Bowman on the uh, wheel around, and he got it to go. Bowman knocks it down. Salem gonna go offense for defense, yep. getting rough on the floor when, um, when they're on defense, and then sub him out when they're on offense. Same way with us, they're gonna put Lane back in the game, so for the offensive end, 47-35 right. here. 121 to go here on the 32nd timeout called by Salem. And I'm sure you might see some full court pressure here out of the line. <laughs> I'm I mean, sure. We're I'm down 12, they've got to start doing something. Um, they they uh, picked up their fouls to get us into the bonus, so now they don't want a foul, but right. uh, they may have to here as they're running out of time. They're going to try to get a quick steal, and if not, they'll probably foul and put us on the line. And now the question is, can the Senators knock down the free Gotta throws? Got to knock down free throws, and that's another reason why we put Lane back in the game. Yeah. He's a good free throw shooter. Chances are if they're going to foul anybody, they're probably going to want to foul either uh, Titan or uh, Ian. Kenton with it in the backcourt, and he gets fouled by Cheatwood. Waiting for the call, there it is. Yeah, there's Cheatwood, that will be his third. Coach Malloy not real happy with that no. one because he thought Kenton was losing the ball as the foul was called, so. So Kenton will go to the line. He has yet to score in this game. It's kind of unusual, but uh, hadn't really put up a lot of shots. Yeah. Cox will check in for Lane as Kenton goes to the line. Chance to build on this 12 point lead. First free throws up, and he got it. He's a good free throw. Yeah, that one looked well. really good. He'll get another one. Grayson McCoy in for Cameron. Kenton, second free throw coming here. It's up, and it rims out. Rebound Stevenson off to Cheatwood. He'll pull it down, gets a far side to Bowman. Hayden will wheel around. Now takes it in to the baseline, shoots it, and couldn't get it to go. Tipped back up by Tucker, and the rebound pulled down by Titan Williams. He'll get it off to Kenton. Kenton up quickly. Tucker fouls him, so they'll put him back on the line. So Tucker picks up his second foul. And Kenton will go back to the free throw strike. 57.2 seconds left to go here. Senators up 13. It's about this game was a lot like the first game. Yeah. It's, it's real similar. Even though we built a bigger lead tonight, and we got to learn how to put our foot on the gas <laughs> and, when and we keep get going. up and keep going because – We've done that in several games. We've done it last night with Eastern. You know, we got out to a, up to a 12-point lead, and they come back. And then here tonight, we had a 20-point lead as Kenton knocks down both free throws. 50 to 35, Cheatwood down quickly off to Stevenson. Now off to Collins, corner to Tucker. Tucker spins, looks, throws it out to Bowman. Now back to Cheatwood, off to Bowman. He'll wheel around, kicks it back to Cheatwood, far side to Collins. Back to Cheatwood, he'll step into the three, no good, rebound Kent. Chase will pull it down and out of there. Off the other way, gets it, to, oh, he had Cox, he missed him, now he dishes to Mason, and Mason scores. Nice bucket there by Mason. 52-35, 20 seconds to go, so the center is gonna get this win here in the consolation round of the holiday tournament. Those of you watching and stolen away. Cox comes away with it, and that'll probably be it. Those of you watching at home, there is a link for the championship game. Um, those of you listening on WWSR, you can just stay with us. We'll, we'll yeah. be on um, back on WWSR, but second link for the second game. So yeah. 52 to 35. Are we going to take a break here, come back with the scoring, or do um, you want to come back later? Let's come back later okay. with it. We'll take a break here in between the games. We'll be back. We'll give you the final stats from this one 
and then we'll preview the next game between Borden and Eastern, the championship game. Here on your home for Senator Sports, WWSR and West Washington Livestream.